Cancer, welcome to your April reading. Starting off, I have full moon in Leo. Don't let pride get in your way. What I'm getting with this is like, don't get too much in your ego. So like, if you feel like someone's like, uh, your ego meaning like your sense of self. So like, if you feel like someone's like bruised your ego or it's like, someone's like um done you wrong or they um or if they made you feel less than what you are or if you feel like you have to like um one up somebody in order to feel better about yourself i feel like that's going to like actually hold you back as opposed to like um learning like your inner confidence and like inner strength on your own um with your second card i have beauty way coming as your medicine so I'm saying, like, don't try to repair it. So, like, if you lost a friend or if, like, some sort of, like, friendship or there was, like, a misunderstanding or argument, then, like, you don't want to have to, like, try to repair it if it's, like, not, if it's not going to work. So, like, um, kind of, like, combining it with the full moon and legal of, like, don't let your pride get in your way. So, like, if you know this person is toxic and, like, they bruised your ego, don't let your pride get in your way and, like, try to repair the friendship if it's not meant to be. If it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. So, like, don't go out of your way to, like, try to, like, work on things. Like, if, uh, if there's not, like, movement on both sides, like, both of you guys have to be able to be willing to, like, come together in order to, like, preserve that friendship. And what I'm seeing, like, with your final card is transformation. So, like, I'm seeing, like, you're gaining, like, more wisdom and clarity from this. And what it says is, I journey within to meet my higher self and find true happiness. So, this is going to be a time for you to, like, really transform. Like, I'm getting the word, uh, I'm getting Scorpio from there. So, like, this could have been, like, a Scorpio that you know of or, like, you're having, like, one of those uh, transformations that like us Scorpios usually go through usually like when we go through a transformation or at least I can speak for myself it almost feels like my old self is dying and like my new self is like being reborn but like you really have to like start going within and like um go into like yourself from a place of authentic authenticity and not from like a place of ego and like pride and like trying to like be this uh, grandiose um, person like when you who you are and you have value for who you are instead of like trying to look a certain way yeah and it's going to have to require some action and require some work but it's going to be well worth it cancer like um, really just go within and, like, um, raise your vibrations because that's what we're about during April, like, just raising our vibrations. I feel like this, uh, transitionary period, like, you have to focus on, like, your inner growth and, like, what's going to make you happy instead of, like, externally and, like, trying to go out and, like, seek happiness from other people, okay? So that's all I have for you, Cancer. Thank you for watching. You take it easy. Scorpio, welcome to your April reading. Starting off with your first card, I have Balance, Practicality, and Spirituality, Full Moon in Pisces. So what I'm seeing is that, like, your life right now is, like, these two fish. Like, you have, like, uh, enough room to, like, swim around and, like, move around, but, like, you can have, like, much more room than that, like... I'm seeing like in a practical sense, like you can actually like make more changes like within your life in a spiritual sense, like you can like imagine things and like allow them to grow, like allow your imagination to like expand upon like what you already have, like um, taking more action to like go to wherever it is that you need to go. As far as like your second card, I have the council. So what I'm seeing is that the answer is like already inside of you like if you feel like you're a little bit confused about what it is like to make the next changes or next step in your life um, like 
balancing uh, practicality and spirituality like um, what is meaning by that is like go within yourself in order to like the spiritual side of yourself in order to find the answers and then like take the practical action in order to like move in that direction in order to get to where you need to go as far as like your third card what I have is the will of life I am guided by the cycles of life and live in complete harmony with them. So know that life happens in cycles. So like there's going to be like different points in times like within your life where like your life is going to continuously keep changing. And like if you're in this cycle right now and you feel like stuck or like nothing's like working out or like nothing's going to like move will make the most of where you are right now because like each cycle is going to bring you like a new gift and like us. Uh, a new lesson with it so like make the most of like each cycle just take it one day at a time is what I'm getting out of this also don't go a day without working on yourself so like always practice like um, personal development and like growing growing yourself because like Scorpios we're all about like transformation and like um, letting go of the old, dying the old, and then, like, transforming into something new, so, like, enjoy both aspects of yourself, so, like, if you see one aspect of yourself, like, slowly dying off, like, the other aspect of yourself is going to, like, re be reborn into, like, a new, and I feel like that you can use that to your advantage, um, whenever you, like, balance out, like, the things, like, your commitments, as well as, like, what it is, like, you want to do like in terms of your spiritual practices because it's like you already have the answers like they're already inside you you just have to like bring it out all right that's all i have for you scorpio keep those vibrations high thank you for watching take it easy pisces welcome to your april reading Starting off with your first card, I have Mutable Moon. Nothing is yet set in stone. So I'm seeing you going with the flow of life, or like you need to go more into the flow of life instead of like um, thinking of things as like being permanent. So like if you're at a job that like um, provides you with uh, some sort of stability, and let's just say because of like the virus or so, like you've been, um, let's just say like kicked off the team, um, and like you want to find like a new job but you're like wait until this uh, virus is over and i can go back to my old job well nothing is yet set in stone and like uh you have to be okay with the impermanence of things like with your second card i have fire so like with the fire is saying like not being afraid to like destroy not like in like a negative or like toxic way but like understanding that like something that you could have let's just say like this apple like it can easily be destroyed and like to become attached to this apple um that would that wouldn't necessarily like help me or like benefit me like i gotta think to myself like okay i have this apple and like it's gone well that apple's gone there's nothing i can do about it just get myself another apple and it's like I had the experience of having two apples so it's like just enjoy the process of like getting more apples like within your life if that makes sense so like um also with your next card I have the water element for your final card and what it says is I allow my mind my body, mind, and spirit to flow intuitively through the changes in life. So, like, allow things to flow in your life. Like, don't get stuck or caught up on things. So, like, in relationships, jobs, or, like, whatever opportunities that are, like, coming in and out of your life. It's, like, don't get too attached to them because, like, things are going to come and go. Like, I'm, I'm starting to think of that uh, J. Cole song, um, The Forbidden Boot the forbidden fruit where it's like money comes and goes women come and go friendships come and go all that stuff and like i feel like that's going to be like your model for the month of april and like 
yeah, really be open to change, Pisces, because nothing is set in stone, and don't be afraid to burn it down, or being able to, like, let go of it, and, like, um, celebrate the impermanence of things, like, moving on to, like, different things, so, like, if you feel like something's negative, or, like, is holding you back, don't be afraid to, like, access that fire energy, and, like, just purify it with the flames that you have like within yourself because like I feel like that's going to like really energize you through April like knowing that you have the power to like let go of things and then like rebuild it like even better like I feel water element you're a water sign so like I feel like you're really going to like get in touch with like how how you're able to like flow through life I feel like you're going to be able to like swim through like different opportunities like embrace this dolphin like energy too also don't be so serious is what I'm getting yep and that looks like that's all I have for the month of April. Like, keep those vibrations high. Thank you for watching, Pisces. Like, you take it easy. Be safe.